back. Now, the Chief Minister Jailalta today told the National Executive Council of FIKI that the power situation in the state will improve to facilitate industrial growth. Now, she also said that the leaders of the industry that they shouldn't be worrying about shortage of skilled manpower in Tamil Nadu. Now, she invited the captains of the industry to, to, to be partners in the growth model that she has envisioned. Now, she expressed confidence that Tamil Nadu will emerge as one of the best states among India. The message I want to convey to you is that there will be no skilled manpower shortage in Tamil Nadu. I am aware of the nervousness in some sections of the corporate sector arising out of some recent unfortunate power cuts. During 2001 to 2006, Tamil Nadu was a power surplus state. I take this opportunity to assure you that my government is seized of this issue and we are taking efforts on a war footing to improve the power situation. Already, there are clear signs of improvement. Very soon, we will be able to make our state power surplus again. By the end of 2012, the capacity addition will be 4,640 megawatts. Well, moving ahead now, scores of people who were allegedly duped by real estate businessmen to the tune of several crore rupees landed at the office of the Greater Chennai Poli Commissioner of Police, uh, J.K. Tripathi. Now, according to the complainants, the real estate firm called Diamond Enterprises advertised in the media inviting people to buy land for attractive prices. Now, accordingly, over 100 people approached the firm, paid money, but even after months that they are yet to get their plots of land. Now, the Central Crime Branch of the Chennai City Police have promised action. Our crime correspondent Salim tracks the reports. 30-year-old Shankari, a housewife, paid 3 lakh rupees for a 1,750 square feet plot in Madhurantagam. 63-year-old Pushottamam, a retired government servant, paid 10 lakh rupees to get a plot of 2,800 square feet. Even after several months, they are yet to get their registered land documents. There are hundreds like Shankari and Pushottamam claiming that they were allegedly duped by the real estate firm. Now they want the central crime branch to take action against the realtors. நான் <laughs> The modus operandi of the company, advertise in television, offering land for attractive prices, take the customer to the site in a luxurious car, offer them food free of cost, earn their trust, receive the payment and then stay disconnected from the party. Pandra madam, Pandra madam, Nalik Pandra madam, Prinsular Nalik, Unangadia, when the office Kuandu and the Alay Tirinitra, Unanadakala, thing like Pudia, the police la complaint Kutruko, accident the Ingala, Ingle Panama, Lando, Angle Registration Panikuta, Rumban Alar. Acting on the complaint filed on August 5th with Ashoknagar police by the victims, the police arrested the proprietor of the real estate firm Diamond Enterprises after preliminary investigations. The victims now want the city police commissioner to intervene. The central crime branch of the Greater Chennai City Police is probing the case. The prime accused in this case is behind bars. The other accused persons have switched off their cell phones. Police say they will be brought to book soon. In Chennai, Salim for NDTV Hindu. In some national updates now, the Tista Water Pact is looking increasingly unlikely. Yesterday, Mamta Banerjee sulking over the pact, which she says is unfair to West Bengal, pulled out of the trip to Dhaka with the Prime Minister. Mamta Banerjee was to be a part of a delegation of five chief ministers on this high-profile trip to Dhaka. The others are now in Bangladesh and the Prime Minister leaves tomorrow. As I have said already, I don't want to go beyond that. Anything that is agreed between India and Bangladesh would have to be acceptable to the state of West Bengal. And we are, we have consulted and we will continue to consult the state government. Now moving ahead, the truth will prevail. This was the statement coming in from Janardha Reddy as he was being dispatched to 14 days in jail. 
Now, this morning, the former Minister of Tourism of Karnataka was arrested by the CBI this morning. Now, Janata Reddy and his brother-in-law Srinivas Reddy were arrested in Bellari and then brought to Hyderabad. Now, both men have been accused of illegal mining via their infamous company, Obalapuram Mining Company or OMC. Now, Srinivas is the managing director, while Janata Reddy is uh, the director on its board. The CBI is reportedly found with 3 crore rupees in cash and 30 kilos of gold from the former minister's palatial mansion in Bellari. And well, the Congress's uh, Digvijay Singh has uh, slammed Sushma Swaraj, claiming that Swaraj and Venkaya Naidu have business links with the Reddy brothers and that it must be probed. Sushma Swaraj ji ke inke saath jo vyaparik sambandh hai, uske baare mein bhi jaanch hona chahiye. Venkaya Naidu ji ke jo vyapsaik sambandh Reddy brothers ke saath hai, uske bhi jaanch hona chahiye. Ye toh bhot pehle se keh rahe hain. ये तो ना केवल वहाँ माइनिंग करते थे, माइनिंग के साथ साथ दूसरे लोगों से प्रोटेक्शन मनी लेते थे। और इन सम न्यूज़ फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली नाउ बोथ द हाउसेस ऑफ़ पार्लियामेंट वर जॉन्ड टुडे फॉलोइंग एन अप्रोड बाय द बीजेपी एंड द समाजवादी पार्टी। now the BJP members opposed the appointment of Lokayukt in Gujarat, saying that it, it, that it was a violation of the constitution. Now, meanwhile, members from the Samajwadi Party demanded the suspension of the questioner to discuss the firing on lawyers by state revenue officials in Lakhimpur. And while the impeachment proceedings against uh, Justice Somitra Sen of the Calcutta High Court have been dropped, the former announcement uh, was made by the Speaker Meera Kumar in Lok Sabha. Now, this comes a day after the President accepted Sen's resignation. Uh, with your permission, uh, I have to bring to your notice into the notice of the Honorable House that Shri Justice Sumitra Sen resigned from the Office of Judge of Calcutta High Court in pursuance of Proviso A to Clause 1 of Article 217 of the Constitution of India with effects from the afternoon of 1st September 2011. Well, up ahead, the Spanish master of clay is made to grip clay after a painful cramp attack. Updates on the other side. Keep watching.